Hey there, hope you're having a great day. I'm Mr. Terry, I'm a high school history teacher. Welcome back to another History Teacher Acts video. All right, so I was recommended a comedian named Shane Gillis. And specifically, I was told that he is into history. And I was recommended to watch one of his stand-ups, and I was given a timestamp to watch a segment on George Washington. All right, let's check this out. All right, I've got it queued up to where I was told this history bit is, and it's from a special called Beautiful Dog, so check that out. All right, let's see what we got here. Looks like a pretty packed uh, auditorium. Here we go. I think I've heard the name uh, Shane Gillis, and if he is into history, tells history jokes, uh, he might have a new fan. So let's see. Let's... I like history. <laughs> I'm a bit of a history buff, which, by the way, that is early onset Republican. That's a very... <laughs> It's a very serious <laughs> warning sign. If you're a white dude in your 20s and 30s and you're like, I can't stop reading about World War II. Yeah. It's coming, bro. <laughs> you, might, you might not be Republican right now. You might be young. And cool. So we talk about in my community how like there's like like history people. Then there's like the people that are just like World War II people. And I guess maybe they're more like Republicans. Do you guys agree with that? But I think you're safe, dude. You're not. I think it doesn't you're happen overnight. It takes time. It just happens. <laughs> you think your dad wanted to be a Republican? You think, he, you think he got out of high school and he was like, all right, now it's time to be a prick about everything. <laughs> no, dude, it takes time. Dude, everyone. Like, I'm not a Republican right now. All right, whose dad is that? <clears throat> I got to fight it every no, day. I'm not I'm resisting the werewolf. urge. <laughs> I'll just be watching TV out of nowhere. Just, uh, why are black guys in every commercial? Uh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I've been studying history a long time. I, I've never said that. Uh, so I hope that is not something that keeps happening. <laughs> Mermaids are white. <laughs> it's all the little mermaid thing. I'm 35. That's important to me. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Natural evolution of history they words. And <laughs> they are. Oh, gosh. Didn't I'm somebody. On that one. <laughs> was that Shapiro or something like tried? Who was that? That tried to like explain the biology of how like mermaids like can't be black or whatever. Like <laughs> chill, everyone chill. No, I like I like history, so it's coming. I'm not a Republican now, but it's it's coming. There's no <laughs> when I'm on the road, I travel every fucking weekend. There's you know, there's nothing to do during the day. And then at night you do stand up. But during the day, I travel every week. Read books. And sometimes I like to visit like historical punk. places throughout the country. That's so, cool. That's a couple cool. summers ago. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, man. Shut up, dude. It's not lame at all. <laughs> like, bunch of it's not lame. God just laughed at me from the balcony. <laughs> I love that when they interact with like the, the crowd like yeah. that. So a couple summers ago, I was in Washington, D.C. Sign of a good I comedian. I visited uh, Mount Vernon. I went and I visited George Washington's, Washington's house. house. Uh, yeah. It turns out it was George Washington's plantation. That's right. <laughs> so uh, he inherited, uh, I believe, slaves um, uh, like on his wife's side, Martha's side. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> Dude, I get in there. I'm the only one there. It was the first summer during COVID. I'm the only visitor. Sorry there. if you're new to me. I and talk about the history behind you know, it's 15 videos. Actors you may see me pause it. They stayed. Everyone else was in the 1700s. I was oh, the only man. guy Being there. Being a slavery and actor. Like I signed up for the tour. And I don't know if I want to. I was Martha Washington. want to do that. It wasn't her. It was some fat Martha. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I saw right to it. He's a, he wasn't buying it. <laughs> I signed up for the tour, so me and Martha have to hang out together for 15 minutes to see if anybody else signs up for like the three o'clock tour or whatever. No one's going at three. Of course they don't. Yeah. I gotta make small talk with a woman that won't stop pretending to be from the 1700s. <laughs> no, it's no. fucking insane. What do you say? I was just out there with her, like. It's even before the tour. George Washington. There's for him. She's like, oh, the general. <laughs> he won't be joining us today. He's in his chambers. It's just you and I. I was like, Wait. <laughs> Oh, okay. trying to fuck me? Oh. <laughs> Getting hit on by Martha Washington. <laughs> oh, no. Never broke. No one broke. I, enough time's gone by. I've had enough to think about why nobody would break character while I was there. And for real, I'm fairly certain they thought that I was a special needs man. <laughs> what? Like, why? We got together and they were like, look, this is obviously a big day for this guy. What? <laughs> nobody what? break character. Let's make it magic for him. Like, they watched me park my car when I got there. And when I got out, they were like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, why? Ones. Look at him. The, dr <laughs> the driving one. It was also during COVID, and the mask did not do me any favors. <laughs> if you can only see my eyes, I got the eyes for it. Oh, it that's what he's out. saying. Oh no. He's. 
It also, it also didn't help I walked up to my tour guide like, where's George Washington? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, you're a big guy. I was like, yeah. He does look like a big dude. He does look like a big dude. Oh my gosh. So, um, I haven't been to Mount Vernon. Is this all legit? Like I, I need to, I, I guess, you know, go there and see that stuff, but it would be very awkward to be there. Like the only one, you know, with people who are obviously very, very into it. Right. He's talking to Martha, you know, and, and then there's slaves, like slavery and actors, like people that like act that out, you know what I mean? And stay in character. Okay. This might be interesting. And it's during COVID. So it was probably Martha. like, what, like restrictions and stuff. He's wearing the mask. Okay. I see what he was saying now. He's like, all right, all right, whatever. Let's get Me back and Martha to go in for the tour. Due to COVID restrictions at the time, we were not allowed to speak indoors. Oh, all right. So for thirty-six dollars, me just look, and a woman dressed like Martha Washington, <laughs> fucking dead silently walk through for a full hour. You need to be able to talk for this tour to have any value at all. There's nothing yeah. in there. It's just old chairs and shit. What could you do outside? He went room to room for an hour, and this was the tour. You just went in. Just just look at stuff. <laughs> it would suck as a tour. In the corner of every room. Just... What is it? Yeah. I'm not getting it. Okay, old chair, whatever. If we get outside when we're done. She's like, do you have any questions? I'm yeah. Like, yeah. What the fuck was that? What was that? <laughs> what did you and me just do? <laughs> <laughs> so that was the end of me and Martha. I go off by myself. I start looking around. Like I said, it was the first summer during COVID. All right. So we're in the middle, you know, we're very in the awkward time. Right? Statue season. Oh, yeah. The Confederate statues. Shout out to a tomb The founding father's <laughs> plantation during all of that. So I wanted to check out the slave quarters. Oh, no. That's not going to look good. Let's see what all the fuss was. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> So there's people that are like, it wasn't that bad. Have you heard that? Like there's people like saying that stuff, you know? Um, okay. Anyway. Uh huh. No, whatever. Fuck you guys. What'd you guys do? Yeah. What'd you guys do that summer? Fucking post black squares on your Instagram? <laughs> Is that what you did? Dude, that was a crazy time. Like, just think about like historically, culturally, socially, politically, like how crazy even just 2020 was right and all this stuff happening at the same time how they i was there yeah. boots on the ground at a the founding gr father's plantation ground zero of growing learning as a white growing <laughs> of the intersection of all of our cultural well, differences in intersecting in george washington slave quarters by the way the first thing you do when you walk into george washington slave quarters is you go ooh because <laughs> it's awful somehow worse than i thought they were. whole slave families in one rough, tiny dude, had a fucking shack. dungeon <laughs> for real dude. dungeon I'm, I'm in there and i'm by myself and i'm like you know you remember that time it was a tense fucking time in this country and i'm in there by myself like jesus fucking christ and, like, uh, and then awkward. i hear some footsteps coming down the path behind me and now blocking the only exit of the room was a slave reenactor oh no okay in character they have those there. In character. And he did not break character. I turned around, he was oh. like, oh, well, hello there, sir. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, please, you don't have to do the character. Yeah, like, how do you respond? I'd anything for you to not do that How would you respond to that? Like, He didn't break. He was good. He was like, look at those clothes. You must be from the future. Hello, time traveler. Like, uh, yeah, like, I guess so. Right now. What are you doing out? Come here. What are you doing? <laughs> no, what are you I did doing? not say that. Obviously, <laughs> no. I didn't fucking say that. I didn't say a word. I was frozen. I was paralyzed with white guilt. I didn't say a word. I was... <laughs> Dude, this and he knew what he was doing. But I feel like you have to emote. If you okay, if you were like by yourself here, you'd have to like emote more than normal. Cause like you know what I mean. You can't act like you're ignoring it or not interested. You have to like emote like, oh, whoa, I didn't know. You know what I mean? He for real. He knew what he was doing, dude. He wasn't. He wasn't giving me the George Washington tour. He was just drilling me with shit I didn't want to hear. He was hitting me with the way you remember that time tense time that guy walks in there and sees me i know what i look like i know exactly i got you know i've got the body type of a guy who says let's see the rest of the body cam footage before we jump in oh no <laughs> i know what i look like oh he wasn't even giving me the george washington tour he was just telling me fucked up shit. 
He was talking about other people. He's like, Thomas Jefferson had about six slave children of his own. He, he only tons. freed two of his own children during his lifetime. I was like, yeah, okay, Thomas Jefferson probably had more slaves, I think, than any president. Um, massive plantation. Always people are like, you know, he's complicated and he's you're, or whatever. Like, like, because uh, you also have somebody, remember, he drafted the Declaration of Independence and all men are created equal and all that stuff. And then, you know, it's like the, the two-sided nature of so many founding fathers that it, it causes the this like, uh, you know, such these apprehensive discussions and heated discussions about, you know, these people and man. Jesus Christ. It's, it's American history, you know. Is that a bummer? Thomas Jefferson literally enslaved some of his own children? Yeah, and he had a bunch of children with him. Yeah. Now you know how I felt, dude. I was getting fucking drilled with this information. One of the biggest slave holders. I started holders. possum a little bit. I was like, maybe I am a special needs guy. Oh. <laughs> he tried he to hit me with the fucking deflect. white facts. I was... Oh. <laughs> I mean, it was a battle, dude. It was like two wizards fighting. Oh. <laughs> Finally, oh I won by just lowering my mask. He was mid rant. I, I was like, oh, shit. My bad, brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's trying to get out of the he awkwardness. He freed me. That's when I went to the this has been hilarious, by the way. Thanks for the recommendation, guys. But as soon as you walk into that museum, they start pumping up George. You walk in, they're like, George Washington was a great man. You're like... Yeah, it's, it's, it's like you just... Came from his dungeon. Yeah, you just saw a horrible... But, you know, I'm American. I'll the horrible side of those times. Of history. <laughs> what else did he do, you know? Yeah. We're not going to let human trafficking define these guys, are we? <laughs> Uh? That's seriously like like kind of how people are like, okay, there was this side of founding fathers. There was this side of founding fathers. We just got to, I mean, you see it for what it is and everyone wants to, you know, like, like come to a side on stuff. It's just like, it's all history, right? I don't know. Anyway, Dang. I was in there. I was going through the museum. I'll admit I still had, I had girl brain towards George from what I'd seen. What do you mean? I was still mad at him. I was going through the museum. I was like, George Washington, <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> but now they're going to look. George Washington had red hair. I was like, ugly bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be cool. By the way, that's something everybody, you, you never know, because they always, every painting and stuff has the, the wigs that they wore back then, right? Like, you know, and you'd forget, like, yeah, red hair. Um, he was also, like, a tall guy for his, you know, for his time. Yeah, uh, he, was, he was a lot taller, so big redhead, you know. And liberal. And hate him. I couldn't do it, dude. They started pumping up George. Got me going, dude. <laughs> Let's go through the museum. They're like, George Washington was six foot two. I was like, yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, he could never tell. Hey, that's why. tall. Like, this guy's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> like, he single handedly defeated the British at this point. Well, I'm no. Back. <laughs> <I'm> back. <laughs> You're back. No, dude, I'm worse. <laughs> Nobody better touch my statues. I love <laughs> statues. Fortune for George, man. The American Revolution. They'd not won a lot of battles, the Americans. Uh, you got you got to pump up the French, helping with that. But remember, Revolutionary War was just survive for, for Americans. Survive long enough, the British are going to give up and stop supporting it. And that's exactly what happened as the war went down. Eventually it became just not feasible and, and, and even worth it, you know, for the British. But you had to go through a lot of crap. George Washington had to do that. Valley Forge in these places and try to keep the troop morale up and stuff like that. So um, I don't know if he's going to talk about George Washington as a president, but we'll see. I'm ready to get on Facebook, defend Rittenhouse, whatever I need to do <laughs> to help this country get better. Just get jacked up by the... But I'm back, 100%. Love America, love George Washington. And then you get to the end of the tour... And the last thing you see on the George Washington what? tour is George Washington's teeth in a case. Fake teeth. And if you, you know, the myth is George Washington had wooden teeth. Right. Turns I don't think out, that was true, though. George Washington had, it was ivory and lead dentures. Oh. With horse and cow teeth on the oh. top row and human slave teeth on the bottom row. Well, I don't know. I don't know why he, did he just have bad teeth? His te teeth rot out or something? I never knew that, but I heard about like the fake teeth. So he's putting this image together. He's like tall. He's like redhead, nasty mouth. I don't, it, that sounds w worse than just having a bunch of uh, uh, um, just wood teeth. So like, uh, he's probably not a very handsome guy. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> what the fuck? That's it. That's how the tour ends. You gotta walk outside to a hot, sunny parking lot. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> they start looking also, bad. Also, with the teeth. Show me the teeth. 
make him cool. Right away, dude, don't make me love George Washington for two hours. And then make him hideous. At the very end, be like, you want to see some wild shit? <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be scary on the. And once you see his teeth, battle every story about him makes you know? perfect sense. Yeah. Like he was a man of few words. It's like, yeah, dude, he had fucking donkey teeth and fucking <laughs> lead in his mouth for a decade. You can't keep lead in your mouth for a decade. Yeah, that would give you screw you up, huh? For real, like rabies like symptoms. You yeah. <laughs> like I can't believe we defeated the British. So I know how we did it. We had a fucking George six Washington. foot two redheaded retarded guy <laughs> out in the woods just waiting for those motherfuckers, dude. <laughs> 6'2 in 1770, that's like 6'10 today. Yeah. Red hair, horse teeth, a sword, just. Ah! <laughs> Do you want to tax me? Do you want to tax me? You know how terrifying that guy was. You want to tax me? Ah! It's a five foot British guy. Go! Oh! Yeah. Exactly. He didn't load up his. It's George. His musket. You ever see that painting It'd of George scary. crossing the Delaware? Standing, yeah. he's the only one standing on the road. The pose. Everyone else is like, Joy, you got to get down. Get to defeat the Hessians, man. Get over there, get him. <laughs> Went to defeat mercenaries you know fighting on the other side of the Delaware. river. It was Christmas Day, and uh, it was Christmas. a bit of a massacre because George caught the British off guard. Yeah, no one's gonna fight on uh, Christmas. The British absolutely correctly assumed they were like, uh, only a retarded guy is gonna try to cross <laughs> this icy river today in a rowboat. One of my favorite memes is that like, it's like America, we will kill you in your sleep on Christmas. So yeah, well, I was part of the Revolutionary War. There was the Hessians, they were a mercenary group. And uh, yeah, they crossed the river, uh, um, Delaware, crossed the Delaware and attacked them. And there was like guerrilla war tactics. That's how the Revolutionary War was. You gotta remember the British were the uh, most powerful toe-to-toe -to -toe organized military in the world. The Americans were not professional soldiers. One of the things Washington had to do was train these guys on the fly, just ordinary dudes. And these type of tactics are what they had to use to prolong the war and keep it from ending, you know? All right, I think this is first almost over now. first president was on the other side of that. As far as this segment, I wrote down. I like, they wrote it down. Boat, we gotta kill these motherfuckers for... <laughs> All right, so I was told this is where kind of that part of the clip ends. Um, final thoughts, because I have some questions for you guys. All right, that was hilarious. You know, I, I if he does more like history stuff, I would love to hear him if he's like really into that stuff and like and, and does that and talks about it more. Um, definitely share some clips or timestamps of things for me to check out. But that was hilarious just hearing about uh, that. You probably, I would think a lot of, you, you might've learned a lot about George Washington there, like from, from looking at that. Now, real talk with him as a president i actually think he was um one of the, the most well not just important presidents but did some really important things uh for the united states you know being the first president there was not a lot of you know like there was no like expectations really for like what the president was supposed to be yeah you have the constitution and what like and, and turn or you know uh, how the elections work and all that stuff but like being a president and i thought a couple of the things that washington did that was really important were for example like not seeking uh um, extra terms like he kind of did his thing gets elected you know and then back when because there weren't term limits back then and kind of walking away i think that was an uh, important press uh, precedent for the president to say that this isn't just going to be some position that's going to be these lifelong things. You know, even if you're popular, you know what I mean? That it's just not going to turn into that kind of thing. Now, fast forward to, you know, like the 1930s and into the 40s when finally, uh, after FDR Harwin's his fourth term, he dies in office, um, there's going to be an, an amendment passed that limits to two terms, but didn't have that back then. And I think that first presidency could have been definitely been used as a massive power grab and really set the stage for what a, a powerful, like a president could be. And I think like with Washington setting that precedent without, of not just trying to, to do that, you know, I think was really important and something to, to, to cite in uh, building this, this country that way. But yeah, you hear all the, you know, the, the, the stuff about, you know, like founding fathers like Jefferson and Washington, they have these other things that they're tied with, you know, that are obviously look very, uh, uh badly upon owning slaves and and all that stuff and it's just it's the it's it's the history of the united states it, it, it is what it is that's that's exactly how it went down that way and um so anyways back to shane this was fantastic
fantastic. I love stand up comedy. And if people are going to do history, like that's awesome. So let me know if he's got more like history clips and stuff. I'll definitely want to check it out that if you are new to Shane and you like this, definitely go check out uh, probably more of his specials. I saw on YouTube. He's got other stuff, too. So I'm excited to check that out. But I want to know from you if that's what you guys want to see. All right. With that, we'll see you all next time. Bye.